Today, we're going to look at the issue of shared fisheries, such as in the Mediterranean, where we have many countries, all with legitimate rights to fish this one ocean. Another example would be the North Sea, where we have a similar situation. To make life simple, we will have a square ocean with four companies all fishing this ocean. For simplicity, Company A, Company B, Company C and Company D. Before we can start, we have to make a few rules. Our first idea would be that every fishing boat you have can generate income. Leading to the rule, each new boat generates that company $100,000. Our second idea, more boats catch more fish, meaning there's fewer fish remaining and more effort required for everyone to catch those fish, meaning there is a cost to everyone each time one company adds a boat, leading to the rule every time one boat is added, every company must put more effort in to catch the remaining fish, takes more time, takes more money, a cost of $50,000 to each and every company every time there's a new boat. With these rules in mind, I have three questions I would like you to answer. What if Company A adds four more boats? What if all four companies add one boat each? And what if Company A removes two boats? Now I want you to calculate two things in each of these scenarios to calculate the cost or benefit for each individual company. And secondly, add all these costs and benefits together to work out the net cost or the net gain for society. Here are the questions again. The first question, what if company A adds Four boat. Well, Company A will make 400000 however, boat $200,000 for the extra effort it takes to catch the remaining fish. The net result, A gains 200000 but B, C and D each lose 200000 and the net result for society, a loss of $400,000. Question 2, where all four companies add one boat each. Well, each company will make $100,000 more because they've got an extra boat catching them fish. However, each company loses $200,000 for the extra effort all the boats they already had need to use the time, the money to catch their fish. The net result for each company, a loss of $100,000 and the net result for society, a loss of $400,000. That's not good. Question 3, what if A removes two boats? Well, A will lose $200,000 as it no longer makes that money on the boats it used to have. However, all companies will now have more fish available, take less time, less effort, and so make more money. $100,000, $50,000 for each boat. So the net result, for the companies, A loses 100,000, the 200,000 loss and the 100,000 gain, B, C, D will gain 100,000 and the net result for society, a gain of 200,000. And now for a bonus question, how can we maximize profits for all of our companies and for society? Stop this video for a couple of minutes and come up with an answer. So how do we maximize profits for everyone involved and society? Well, if all companies lose one boat each, each company will lose $100,000 because of lost profit. However, each company will gain four lots of 50,000 because of the extra fish in the ocean and because of the increased ease they can be caught at now as there are more of them. So each company gains 100,000 meaning the gain for society is 400000 The problem is that this relies on trust. If one company doesn't lose a boat, and all the others do, they will make an extra gain through their dishonesty. This situation, where we have a common resource, is often referred to as the tragedy of the commons, as 
to individually do well and make more money, there is an overall cost to the common pooled resource. How can we get around this? One way would be to break up the common resource. People generally look after their own house, their own property, their own farm. This can partially be done on the ocean where each country has control of some water. However, there are still multiple companies in it, so it's the same situation. This leaves us with laws and regulation. However, if everyone else follows them while you don't, you gain and they lose. So these regulations and rules must also be enforced.